watching video today and it would help if I went and got a paintbrush wouldn't it so I'll be right back this which is a sminky Horden um it's a super granulation 40 dot card now this has got the, all the granulation colours they sell I don't think you can see this this cost me £9.98p. I was very hesitant to buy it because I think these colour charts, basically, and these are dot card. This is a dot card. They should be free, to be honest, from any companies. Like paint charts and that. But then, again, I've got the same thing about carrier bags as well. They shouldn't be 10p or whatever. They should be free because you're you're buying in a place or whatever. You're gonna test these paints, and if you like them, you're buying their product. They should be free, really. But I went ahead and I bought this so I can see what the colours are like and whether I like these paints or not, because they are expensive paints, and because they're not something you can just splurge on the moment with. Um, it's best to basically get a dot card. Now, they do a bigger range dot card, which is 238 dots, I believe. And that's a full range of the colours. And I don't think it's got these. I'm not sure if it has. But that's like nearly £30. I'm not paying that at all. Um, I only bought this one because of the granulation. So it comes in this big envelope. And this is what it looks like. I mean, the amount of paint you get on there is absolutely ridiculous as well. Tiny, tiny little dots. Most probably because I'm very... Um, When I buy a dot card, like from Esty or that, the dots are at least three times bigger, maybe even four times bigger than that. Um, I know these are quality paints and rich paints and whatever, but £10 just for that, basically, is a lot of money. And uh, if you want people to buy your paints, you should really hand these out if they buy a sample set or if they buy something. Right, so this comes with a divider panel to stop the paints transferring. Um, so all my paints seem to be on there. Just making sure. Because some people have said that they've come off onto here. They've melted off, but they seem to be okay on there. But this is just like one swatch and probably it's done. I'm going to say anyway. I would have liked to have swatched it on the card and then swatched it in my book. But I um, don't think we're going to have enough paint to do that. So I'm going to do it with this uh, number four Jackson Studio Synthetic. So we'll just dip that in the water. I've got no tissue here, have I? Hold on a minute. So you can buy the uh, packs. You can buy them either in a wooden box. These are these colours, by the way. In a wooden box, which are even expensive. It's like £60. And you get five... Um, yeah, five... Five mil tubes. Tiny little tubes. Or you can get them in a pack as well. Um, I think there's four or five. One of the two. For 30 quid. So it's best to get one of these to test out which colours you prefer before, before taking that splunge, you know. Right, so we're going to start with the Volcano colours. And this is Volcano Yellow. I'm going to try and take off a tiny amount of that. I haven't got enough water on the brush. Is this even dirt? I can't even see anything. Right. 
It's got enough water on it. It's just very pale. I thought that colour, to be honest with you, was going to be a lot better than that. A lot more vibrant. Well, it isn't. Maybe I'll just put a bit of water down before I... Right, this next one is Volcano Orange. Not very bright, are they? I mean, I've made this colour up with Mars Black, um, the Oxide Black, rather, the, where I've been granulating colours. I can see the black in that. Let's go down while I'm doing them. Um, may have to put a light on, actually. They're not very, they're very dull, these colours. Um, now, where is the plug for this light? I think that's it there. So, if I can put that on, you'll be able to see it better. Let me see if that is the... Oh! There we go. Right, so let's go for the next one. We may need a bit better brush, actually. I'm putting some colour down. This is Volcano Red. Pigment, really, is there? It's not my sort of thing at the moment. I like bright, intense colours. I, I don't know what's going on. I thought that yellow was going to be very, you know, I know I'm, I'm moaning all the time, but there is a reason, you know, I like... If I'm paying 30 to 60 pounds or something, I want colour in it. Right, this is a violet, apparently. It was, oh, it is going violet. Hmm. We'll see if it granulates. I put more on that one than I have the rest. I don't really see much that's going on. I need that I'm tearing up the underneath paper. Um, this is brown, something I really wouldn't go for because I don't really go for browns. But what else? Check it out. See what they draw like, I guess. Right, the galaxy, which I was interested in. I was interested in the galaxy, the Shire, and the forest. So that's galaxy, there's the Shire, and then the forest. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. Right, we're going down again now to this one, which is the galaxy colours. Shall I get a better? Or bigger paintbrush. Let me try it. This may be a bit big, this one. All my others are in the other room. This is a nice colour. This is Galaxy Rose. Right, okay. Well, I'll stay. You're going to gradually granulate and go down or it's more like a muddy violet um yeah, I don't know. 
can see. Sorry about that, the doorbell rung. So I'm going to try and use a bigger brush on them now. So we're on Galaxy Violet. Now, oh dear, wash my brush out properly. Now, hopefully, I've got the, that colour out. There we go. Right, let's go for this one. Oh, there's a nice blue. Oh. Now, this is a nice colour. And it's working. And that looks really nice. Galaxy Violet, very nice. I can see, I can see that granulating straight away down. Let's put some powder down there and put some at the top. I'm not wasting when any of it. <laughs> now that is the best so far. All right. Um, that is, I can see brown and violet in that. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Right, so we've got Galaxy Blue next, which looked like a nice colour online. So let's go in with that. Oh, look at these colours. This is much better than that volcano. See how that goes. I'll just stick the other bit at the top there. And I'll see how it goes. Right, the next one is a Galaxy Brown. I wish they'd stop putting brown in every pack. Brown's not a favourite. Right, let's just bring that down and up. see what happens with that. Let's watch this one. Galaxy Black. I'll be interested to see what this is like. Oh, look at that. Look. Did you see that? Look. Just a few touches on that, look. It wants to go everywhere. It wants to go and party and mingle. Most definitely. Let's put a bit of that over there. Nice. Very nice. That set is lovely colours in it actually. Um, they could have put a pinker one in that one I think. But this is the best colour so far. I'm going to see what it's like when it's dry but looking at it you can see that brown going through it on the underneath of the colour. Um, I have slightly overwetted some of them, but that's okay. Right, so the next one I'll need to do is a deep sea. So I'll put the camera there. I'm sorry if I'm making anyone dizzy. So the first one on here is deep sea violet. Right, so let's just lay some water down. We'll just splodge. And then go. Let's bring this over a little bit so you can see it more. And we'll see what how it granulates. I'm gonna bring some of that over there like that so it can come out a bit. Let 
comes to a stop. And I can see I can see some of it doing what it's gonna do. Um, it's also got a brown underneath. Now this one is an indigo. It is a deep sea indigo. I'll just swatch that around a bit and then bring it out. Look at the colour coming out there. That's a lovely colour. I do love this indigo colour. It's fast becoming one of my favourite colours and I'm not really a bluey type of person but um, I'm more into the purples but I do like this indigo colour mostly on everything. You can see like it's got um, a shade of possibly green, I don't know. You know, we'll have to see when it dries. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm going to leave that like that because it's going to run down otherwise into the next. Right, the next one is deep sea blue. I would say this would look nice. green I would say that's gonna be nice next so we've got these ones left here I would say this has got green in it There's enough for me to swatch in my book. So you get two lots of swatches, maybe. I've only done these ones lighter. Look at this first one, look. See all the uh, brown that's developing? This one has got like a, like a turquoise blue in there. Which is a really nice colour. Let's watch this one then, which is a deep sea black. Okay, I'll right to that end bit and then. What happens? too much paint on I don't know I'm just gonna use it how I would use it forward to doing this shire colours so if I just pan that there because I've just got to go and do something for a second that gives that time the other watercolours a little bit of time to dry and I'll come back and do that in a minute okay guys I'm back we're ready to swatch the shires and see what these are like so we've got shire yellow I'm just laying some water first right and then we're going to see 
what this is like, shy yellow. Drag it out a bit. It's a yellowy blacky, well, yellowy grey at the moment. Looking at it. Right, and Shire Olive, I bet that's nice. I really do like the colour Olive. It's one of my favourites. So let's have a look. See what comes of this one. Very pal. I can see a, like an aqua, turquoise in there with it. Moving. What we'll do is we'll put it up there like that so it's heavy around the base, around the sides, and we'll see if it activates downwards. Right, Shire Green. This is a nice green. It's like a leaf green. Which is the same. It's got a very light blue in it, like a turquoise. See that colour coming out, and I've got a bubble right. Um, it's going like a leaf green to a um, uh, green yellow to a very light turquoise colour. So, yeah, let's put that at the last bit down there of that. That is a nice green. Right, so now we've got Shire Blue. Let's put the water down. It's going to be intense, I think. Let's get some of that out. Goes. Yeah, this has got a lot of blue in this green. Um, it's like a, it's like a indigo, indigo with a. I can see like a, like that green in it, underneath. There's not a lot of. Uh, A lot going on in there, really. It's, uh, yeah, I would say like an indigo with a greenish yellow running through it. Right, and the Shire Grey is the last one of the series. Just make sure to get that in there. And then we'll bring that out. See how that acts. See if any other colours come out of it. It's got a little bit of green, like a very dark, dark mucky green, which I call it. Um, maybe it could be me though. I can, see, yeah, I can see. 
undertones of a green, but it's not particularly there, if you know what I mean. Let's put some in this water here, maybe it'll... Uh, we'll see how that develops. These are gorgeous, actually. So we're still waiting for some of the others to dry. Right, so we're going to go on to this side now, the desert. So we're going to do that. Um, I need the light nearer me a bit. Hopefully that will. Right, so the desert is desert yellow. yellow than that first one I've done. Let's see what happens. Doesn't seem to be a lot happening there. It's not moving a lot. There's not a lot of paint on the Dog really neither. I'm gonna leave that light light and we'll see. I think it's got a sandy undertone, a sandy brown undertone. Right, so this is a desert orange. I would say this would be like a burnt colour then. Burnt orange maybe. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's got a lot of brown in it. Take it over. Bring out some more of it. Not much of that swatch. There's about one more brush full and it's gone. That's not very um, good at all. Right, let's put some of it down there. So, yeah, that's, that's starting to bleed in that as well. I should have done this. Shouldn't I? I should have let them bleed in together. See, that looks nice with that one. Maybe I will. Give me a second, guys, and I'll, I'll see if I can bleed them in. So, we're going to do this colour now, which is a desert brown. I'm not overly fussed with brown colours, to be honest with you. Like I've said before. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to end up looking the same, maybe a bit dark or a little bit of black or something. Yeah. Grey brown. Way too much water on that. Let me just pull it over into that one. Yeah, it's very, very black. It's like a grey brown. Right. This one, desert green. Hmm. Looks like very dark. Very dark green. Yeah, it is. Right, I've just got to plug my phone in. So give me a minute, guys. Um. Record. Right, that's plugged in. Right. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? We like that. Oh, I'm going to leave that just like that. But I need these to mingle into the little bit of that colour in that one. Oh, I like that. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Look at that. Let me see if I can take it down more. Wow. That's super lovely. Right, so desert grey. Not open for much in this. Probably a light grey or dark grey looking at it with a bit of green or brown. See what happens. 
Yeah, we've got black undertone with a greeny, that greeny, uh, browny colour on the top with a yellow in there. Yeah, it's not going to be one of my I like colours very well. And that's coming through into there. So yeah, I'm just just gonna use that bit up there. That's got too much water there. It's gonna take a day and a night to dry this out. Lucky enough I've got a heat gun, so but look at that. Right. Now we're on now this one was a limited edition one that was hard to find. I think it's still available in the shop so it's the Tundra. Um it's a very popular one. Um the colours are in this well it's got a rose and a violet and a blue. So maybe that's gonna look really nice. Right, so we've got the orange one. I've got to be careful I don't put my my wrist into all the other swatches. So I'm going to go that way, like that. Bring it out a bit more. That's like a, a golden, I would say like a golden... Um, I can't see any orange in there. It's like a golden brown. We'll leave that bit open, that space. Let's see what it does, see if anything happens. I wouldn't say there was any orange in that. But it may, it may develop. Right, and this one's a rosa. It's a pink, it says. So they've all got the tundra word on them, so but it says pink. Tundra pink. Oh now that's not pink, that's purple. Maybe it has got pink in it though. Let's see, that's got purple and lavender undertone like a violet coming out of it. Oh that is nice. I want that to go into there. That is nice. And I didn't do a lot of it, neither. Next one is a violet. I don't know where it fall. I think the outer colour is what they call. Yeah, it is because it's like a mauvey colour and they call that rose pink. Um, personally, I wouldn't. This is a violet. It's very black. Very dark colour. A black violet. Yeah. Um, we're going to do the blue one now. We'll do these two. This is the blue. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put a bit of that into that one. Oh, look at that. It's thirsty. We'll see what happens with that. That looks like a blue with a grey undertone. Um, but that one's going into it now, which is made like a brown in the violet colour. This one is green. I do like a green, so let's have a look what this is. 
buy it. You can buy these colours separate. Not just in the sets. Now this is like a moss green. So let's see what colours come out of that. I'm not sure. It's very heavy that green. I'm going to take that right through there like that. Into there. I'm going to doesn't seem to be doing anything. I think there's a bit of brown in this green. A little bit of light green. It's not. A, mm, I don't know. We we have to see once the colours are done. Right. So now we're on the gloss glazier. This is the one before last. So the set is here. So we're going to swatch these ones out. So glazier blue. I'm going to swatch. Oh, lovely blue. Look at that. I'm only just slightly touched it. That is a gorgeous blue. It's like um, what's it called? A, a citrion blue. Centrion blue. I'm not good, not good with names. I'll lose that bit in the middle. See if it wants to come out a bit. See if it picks up any colour. Oh, I wanted to get that into there. Right. Turquoise. Oh, lovely. I love turquoise. Oh, yeah. Let's bring some of that out then. Love turquoise. This is another set I was thinking about getting, but it is all blows, I think. No, it's got green. It's got black in it. Right, let's have that up there like that. A bit more down there. A bit more up there. And that running into there. Like that. Okay. Next one is the green. Glassier green. I would say this green would be nice. If it's cold green, yes, bluey JD colour. Jade with a brown undertone. Oh, grey undertone. I'm going to chuck it in there. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Let's put a bit in each corner because. Right, this one is brown gloss um glossier brown oh that's intense isn't it i didn't even swatched it then properly the the card and it wanted to flow let's put a little bit in there like that and see what's well so it connects um it's got an orange it's a dark brown with an orange undertone and then the black one glassy of black i would say this is going to be like a gray it's got to be in it because of uh winter and I would say anyway. Let that colour run out. Bring it down. Yeah. It is grey. I want that to go in there a little bit. Build it up there. Let it run down and up the side. Okay. 
and then it can uh, span backwards. Right, so that's them colours. Then we've got the forest. Now this is one of the ones I was thinking of buying. Forest. If we can get you down a bit. Right, all them colours are connected, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, so we've got olive, forest olive. Now I love olive and I'm hoping that's going to be a nice colour. Now oh, it's a nice olive. Let's just chuck it out a bit more. Um, what am I seeing in it? I'm not seeing a lot, to be honest with you. All I'm seeing is that colour. Yellow. That's what I'm seeing. A yellowy colour. I'm going to leave that to develop and see what happens. Then we've got forest green, which is another nice colour. I'm going to see. Yeah, that's lovely. Oh, that colour's lovely. I'm going to put a bit into there as well. And we'll see. There's a grey under this one. So we've got grey going on under tone in it. I'll leave that one like that. Now they're drying a bit, you can see different colours in them. So they're a lot different to when they're wet. Oh. Water. Right, forest blue. So that... Hold on a minute. Sorry about that. Postman. Um. All right, forest blue. I was gonna swatch this one, wasn't we? No, oh, there's lots of granules coming out of that. Don't know if you can see it. See all them little. Little tiny pieces. I don't know what's going on there. It just exploded all around there. I'm going to take that into there and see what happens with this colour. It's got like a grey in it. Uh, now you're seeing it granulate. granulate. And graduate. Right. So that has got a like a Payne's grey green. Right, so next one is forest brown. Let's see, I would, I would say it looked like the bark of the tree basically. That sort of colour. Let's just get that in. Oh, it's not. It's a nice one. It's probably got a brown undertone then. Oh, it's a nice green. Very nice. I'm actually glad that I bought this so I can see the colours well because I nearly bought that volcano set and I don't like it. I'll show you for why after. You're not going to be able to see it till it's dry properly. Uh, this is a yellowy green. And this is supposed to be forest brown. So whether the brown had come out, I don't know. I'm not sure. There's a bit I can use up here. I'll just connect onto it. Ah, oh, now it's developing a bit. It's got my um yeah, it's, it's going yellow there. Right, so forest grey. So it was darkish. I bet this would be lovely to do forest scenes. This, this color, all these colours here. Yeah, it would. 
dark into the forest, that type of thing, you know. Right, I haven't put any of them colours together yet, so I need to do that quickly. So I need to bring that one into there. And then I need to bring that one into there and let that other one run down. And now I've made a big mess. Right, but at least it was only on the last two colours. So we're going to lay this to dry naturally for about half an hour and then I'll come back and I will show you the dry colours. But for now, we have swatched all the 40 colours out, which took a while. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll be back shortly and we'll go through them. Right, we are back. This is dry now. It's taken an hour actually, even with little tiny um, bursts of the heat gun but it's all finely dry and well we'll go through the sets and the colours so let's go down if I can and I've got my paint in the way with gesso right so the first set which is a volcano not loving that really it doesn't have much effect does it I know that yellow in that set is hard to get because if you buy the Volcano set, you can get it in the four, but you can also get it in the three, which I believe is that one, that one, and that one, I think, or them three. But they didn't seem to do much, did they? Um, yeah, not liking them. So the next one is the Galaxy. And I'm so glad I didn't buy them neither. The only one I do really like in there is this um, Galaxy Violet. It's got like the violet and the hint of um, brown in it. You can just about see that. You see, they didn't really do a lot. And I tried to make sure the colors went through into the rest just to see if it would give off another effect. Then we went down to the deep sea. I've noticed I've got paint splatters everywhere around here now. Um, all over my new lamp. <laughs> um, right, so the deep sea colours, they're, they're nice actually. So you've got um, a violet with like a shade of orange violet. This one is beautiful. This is a deep sea indigo. And that's got like an indigo blue with a greeny aqua in there. Um, this one, hmm, this is just a colour really. This one's beautiful, the deep sea green. And that one done something as well. It's like a paint grey and all granulated. granulated. Hang on, my wire's in the way, and I've got to have you plugged in. So let's let's have a look at um, where are we? We're in the deep blue, in the deep sea. So there's the colours. Really like that deep sea green and that deep sea indigo. Really nice. Right, and then the Shire, which was one of the sets I was going to buy, which are really nice, actually, for greens. There's the Shire Yellow, the Olive, the Shire Green. It's got yellow in it. That one is beautiful, the Shire Blue, and then the Shire Grey. These, really nice. That Shire Green is gorgeous. Right, and then we go up to the desert. So we've got the yellow, the orange, it's got the undertones of the orange, the brown. That desert green is absolutely gorgeous. The colours in that. It's very striking. And then the desert grey, which is a grey with a, a touch of yellow in there. And then we go on to the Tundra, which 
looked like gold at first, but it's got like gold brown, yellow, and then the tundra pink, which has gone like a mauve violet. Then the violet, which is gone like a, I would say more like a navy blue with orangey brown, burnt orange in it. And that one is very similar. Um, the tundra blue. And the blue's a bit lighter. And then we've got that one, which is the tundra green, which has got the um, undertones of the burnt orange and a brown, like an ombre brown, with the dark mossy green on the top. Then we've got the glazier, which are really nice. I think that's probably going to be one of the favourite sets I like. So we've got the Glacier Blue, which has got like a greeny aqua in there. It's uh, like a royal blue. This one is absolutely beautiful, and so is the next one. This is the Glacier Turquoise. You can, you can see the, the colours in it. And that is a stunning colour on its own. And then the Glacier Green, which is beautiful because it goes from like a dark muddy green into a lovely turquoise into an orangey um, ombar dark you know a brown but it's got like that granulating three colors throughout that one looked better i've over watered that so that's like a sagey green and brown and there's a bit of orange in there and the last one is a black that's granulated very well um you've got like a a bluish black that goes into a smoky gray okay it's it's very nice picks up the texture well of the paper Right, so then we have the forest, which the forest is beautiful. And there goes the doorbell again. Be right back. Right, sorry about that, guys. It's a busy day today. Right, so the forest colours, which are possibly one of my favourites. I'll tell you after what I really like. So we've got olive. Let me hold it up hard to do round here now because I've got everything in the way. So you've got a lot of greens and browns in this one. The forest is a beautiful colour. Dark greens, olive green in there with a little touch of brown. The forest blue. Look at the, gra the gradient in that. That's gorgeous. And then you've got the forest brown, which again has got a little bit, it's more like an orangey, I would say like um, like an orc with um, dark green going into olive green. And then you've got this one, which is a forest grey, which is a grey blue and like a Payne's grey with brown and like a, uh, like a burnt orange They're really nice so that is it so let me just take this right up a minute right the way up so you can see the full chart Put the paper out the way now if I was to buy one of these sets, I would have, off the bat blind, bought the Galaxy. But I don't like the Galaxy, now I've swatched it. I I was going to, I nearly bought the Volcano, and I'm so glad I didn't pay out all the money for that, because I don't like it. I think I would literally buy some singular colours. I really, really like this colour in the desert. 
this one here. Let me take it down again. See if we can get it right over the light. This colour here is absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful colour. I would definitely buy that. And I may buy one of these two blues here. The glassier turquoise or the green. Probably this one because I love the way that's granulated like that. And I really do like these greens all along the bottom. So I would probably, I'll leave you up a minute because you're probably dizzy with all this moving around. Um, and I also like this deep sea um, indigo as well. It reminds me of, you know, when you see petrol in a puddle or diesel in a puddle, that sort of granulation colour. But I also like this, this, and these are in the shires. I, I really love that, that. I, I really do love all these greens here. So I may get this forest set these would be beautiful for as i said doing landscapes with trees and forestry or using on leaves you'd get the vein sort of real leaf sort of texture in the paper and that uh yeah i really do love that but yeah so they're all swatched and this video is done and then we've got to go on to the next video now. <laughs> but I'm glad you could join me today. I hope you like this. This I got from Jackson's. So it's just, you just get a sheet of that. And you've got the swatch. What is that? Oh, it's an elastic band. Um, you get that in the envelope. Okay. So you just put that back in there. But what I'm going to do, because there's a little bit more paint, I'm going to actually probably use a little dots on something just in just for now. And then I will be buying a few of the colours probably. Um, it's my birthday in late August, so I may treat myself to some. Just a couple. And... Uh, yeah, I've loved swatching this out. And uh, for anyone that's interested, I got this off of Jackson's Art. And it was £9.98, I think it was. Um, so, yeah. So, I thought it'd be a great idea to show you it all. In case you want to buy any of the colours. Or thinking about how they granulate and everything else. They are expensive paints, so if you want to donate to me, feel free. I've got um, a buy me a coffee link in my description. It's mostly in everyone's, and it's also on the top of my um, YouTube channel as well. I have got a donation in there I've had since Christmas from Margaret. She kindly gave me a donation, but I've not been able to take it out because... Um, it needs, I think it's $20 or £20 before you can actually take money out of it. So that's been just sitting in there. So I'm hoping that someone will donate to me at some point. <laughs> so I can use it because I want to buy some more paints. And I need some more craft bits. That's why I'm buying some more bits because I'm getting low on certain things. But thank you ever so much for watching guys. And hope this has helped. Now we're we're over. Yeah, I can turn that light off now because we're overexposed. Right, normal light. Back to normal light. There we go. We're all pretty again now. And uh, I will be doing some more swatch videos, and I will be doing some more um, unboxing videos because I've bought a few new bits and pieces thank you so much for watching 
if you like this video please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment it all helps with the algorithm it's what i need at the moment and i'll catch you in the next video thank you ever so much for watching and you take care and try and stay cool as possible in this weather and safe and i'll see you next time bye <music>